Okay, so let's take a look at how you can import JSON data into Microsoft's Power BI. So when you sign in, you will be able to see the cloud version of Power BI. Now here, what we're going to do is we're going to take the JSON data here. So for that, we will just go to create and then choose this file option get right and then here you can see the local file option and if i choose the json data as you can see it says this file is unsupported so what we can do is we'll have to go to power bi desktop version right so the cloud won't be able to support this now before that you can take a look at Aries data set that you can download in case you don't have any JSON data, right? Also, there are few other data sets that you can Google and even create one for yourself, right? So what we can do is open the Power BI desktop, right? Now, let's wait for it to appear. Okay, as you can see, this is the desktop version of Power BI. Now what we'll do is we'll click on get data. Okay, now this should open dialog box like this. Select JSON. Click connect. Show, show the dialog box the file. Now what it will do is it will open the Power Query Designer. So it will be a small window. As you can see it says Power Query Editor. And here your JSON file is converted into tabular data. As you can see this is the tabular data that you just got right now here you can see the top row being the header row and it has managed to detect that on its own so you don't have to do anything any different just in case if you wish to remove some of the rows you can select select those rows and then you can remove them right if you wish to keep them click on that right also you can choose the data type just in case if that particular column is sensitive for that and has any other character instead of numbers so those sort of changes you can do in power query editor right and then you can simply close and apply the changes we should give you the fields for your data right then you can pick on visual as well so keep an eye on this field section okay, if you expand you will find the fields or you can see columns right and if you want to make a report page click on that right and do the required report based on these fields you can also pick up on chart and then drop the fields and have it created now once you create something let's say if i create date right and then item and then price right so on which date which item with what price right so if it creates charts based on that you can also create your own table or say pie charts right so once you publish this data you'll have to save it right now will tell you to publish to cloud 
and that PBIX file will be uploaded to cloud version as well. Right? Click got it and then go to your cloud version. Now here you can see you will go to my workspace then you will find your data set and also the report. So if you check the report you will get the exact data that we dropped on right and if we go back right so here you can see within my workspace and data set here you can click on that data set it should show you the report right so let's say if i want to save a copy of this report or if i want to share this i can simply click on it considering it's currently the free version i won't be able to do so because it's pro only feature right so you can also create a report auto create out of this so auto create report is only possible within the cloud version and for that you will have to publish data from your desktop to over there right so say if i choose to browse then workspace here i have data set and if i choose to create a report auto create as you can see it has created a much better report than what i have created previously as you can see it says summary of sales sum of price count of sales by date then sum of price by date then also we have item by date and price by item right so for each item that we have within our list will have its price listed right so highest to lowest will be auto created so it creates a lot better report than we can do it manually within short time right so this is basically something you can do on cloud you can save the changes or unsave let's go with save so let me just go back right so if i want to delete this i will have to go to workspace then first thing i will have to delete is the data set then it will also delete the report right however within our desktop version we already have this data so it will remain as is right so for that to remove we will have to remove this pbix file as well right so that should remove the data out of both desktop version as well as our cloud version right one more thing to show you here is let's say if i delete this particular data right and what if i choose to okay so if i choose to get this json data through let's say okay so as you can see this is the json data if i wish to get it to my power bi desktop through enter data option is it possible so let's try and see that so let's select all and try and get it here and as you can see it won't be adding it tabular way so we'll have to go through the option of get data more and then json so that it will properly format that json data and show us in power query editor right because we want it in a tabular format so to make it readable we will go through that flow of data source input right so if you are trying to get the uh, json data into power bi i suggest you to go through that flow instead of copy pasting it because it won't be leading you to tableau data right also 
you can't import this particular file regardless of its size on cloud directly so you'll have to work with a desktop version and then save the file in .pbix and then upload that data to the cloud version right so let's click on not now right so as you can see we have managed to import the JSON data into the Power BI and we also managed to Im import the changes to cloud version.